Okay, good evening everyone. This is JSL Karas and for this video, we will be talking about the break-even point. Ang given natin will be the same uh, figures na ginamit natin last week sa problem natin on uh, frozen products, especially chicken. So, we have the selling price of 150. The cost per kilogram is 135. And the markup is 15 pesos per kilogram. And we have fixed expenses of 80. So the break-even point is a point wherein profit and losses is equals to zero. Kumbaga, wala tayong profit, wala din tayong loss. This is the minimum sales na kailangan natin or the minimum uh, operating performance na kailangan natin for our business so that we will be able to pay all of our expenses. And again, hindi tayo nalulugi. Sales beyond this point will slowly build up our profit. So, the minimum goal is the break-even point. And then, sales beyond the break-even point will provide us profit already. So, the formula for break-even point or BEP in accounting is fixed cost or fixed expenses divided by contribution margin contribution margin so the contribution margin can be in percentage or can be in unit depending kung ano yung gusto nating i-compute percentage ang gagamitin natin if we want to find the sales so the number of sales or the amount of sales in pesos na break even point or Contribution margin per unit naman if we wanted to determine the number of units na kailangan nating mabenta for a certain period. However, for purposes of discussion, para mas madali rin, instead of contribution margin, ang BEP na gagamitin natin will be fixed expenses divided by the markup. The markup. So, Start tayo sa computation in units. So, in units. So, our fixed expenses is 80,000 pesos divided by the markup per unit, which is 15. So, 15 pesos. Therefore, the break-even point units is equals to Ano yan? 80,000 divided by 15. So that is 533.33. 533.33 or simply 5334 units or kilograms. Ito yung target natin na kailangan mabenta in order for us to break even. Now, let's do a computation kung magkano yan in sales. So, in sales naman. So, still, 80,000 pesos. But, instead of the actual markup per unit, ang gagamitin natin is the markup rate. Take note that when using the break even point, our markup will be based on selling price. So, ayun. Based on selling price po siya. Marami akong uh, nakasagutan with regards to the use of the markup based on selling price versus the markup based on cost. That is why I typically use the markup based on selling price kasi magagamit natin siya in the break-even point. So, the markup rate is 10% based on selling price. So, that will be 80,000 divided by 0.10. So, ang kailangan natin is 800,000 pesos in sales. So, BEP sales. So, kapag ang sales natin is umaabot na siya ng 800,000 pesos, that's the only time na makaka-break even point tayo. That is why, if you can still remember, yung last time na 
nag 700,000 pesos sales tayo, we are still at a loss. Pero kapag 800,000 na, then that's the time na break even point na siya. Wala na tayong loss pero wala din tayong profit. By the way, if you can if you will be computing, if i-multiply natin ito sa selling price which is 150, we will arrive at the same BEP. So, for example, 5333.33 times 150. So, round up natin, that's still 800,000. So, it's just the same figures, but dito, it's in units or in kilograms. However, here, it is in sales. So, I hope that helps, and if ever you have questions, feel free to comment it down sa baba. Mayong gabi sa tanan.